Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. This is my message, and I think it's it's kind of the main message that I want to share with this with you, David, in this yeah. podcast. And it was a question that the Lord asked me. So I, I was out there, standing out there on a pile of, of mud in um, a village near Dondu, one of our bases, which had a bunch of roofs, you know, ripped off. And and obviously, we live in the far north of Mozambique. We, we flew to the center to see how were we going to help, you know, what are we going to do? And I was overwhelmed. I actually felt, for the first time in a long time, I actually felt overwhelmed to the point of an inability to to move. I, I was so... I, and I've been through famines and floods, yeah. our teams. Yeah. I mean, we have 1,200 on our paid staff, plus we have thousands of churches. None of those pastors are paid. We have a lot going on, working in, um, I don't know, 37 countries, 80-some bases. Like, there's a lot going on, right? Yeah. But I never got to a point where I was just standing there, and I, I had no words. I, I had no words. I was just like, this is too much already. Like, I don't even know what to say, what to do. And and, and my one of my spiritual daughters, um, who was with us the first time food multiplied, she flew straight from the south to meet me there because she's full of faith and she's like, Mom, I have to help. Like, I gotta I gotta do something. And so we were there and we're standing on this piece of dirt where Three people had been buried to death. Been buried. That's just a tiny little piece of dirt in a massive devastation of like insane proportions that just anything I can describe. And then I'm just feeling, I'm feeling so small Hmm. and so capacitated and so paralyzed. And so just ill-equipped, and, and and it's like all my theology, all my all my love for Jesus, everything. Just I'm just everything. I'm like God. What are you saying? And I was like, I felt this almost a scream come out of me. Like, is this necessary? Like, seriously? That's what I. I was like, seriously. It didn't matter what we built. Um, our base, what what we've done, how many houses we built, everything was just flattened. Yeah. The food crops were all gone, and I heard the Lord, bro. I heard the Lord ask me this question. He said, "Who are you?" Mm. And I, I was like, I was put, I was like put. Just put in my stopped in my tracks. Like, who are you? Yeah. What do you mean? And I started answering with, with a few things. Like, well, I'm a daughter. I'm, I'm a mother. I'm a lover of Jesus. I'm a saint. I'm a saint. I'm a wife. I'm a leader. I'm a founder of Iris Global. I'm a co-founder of Comunia I, I I kept answering little things and he kept asking me, who are you? <laughs> and then I realized he wasn't talking about me as an individual, I although see. that was question. When he was asking me, who are you? He was asking me as a believer, who are you? And then I said, oh, we are the body of Christ. You plural is the question, it sounds like. Can you plural? Who are you? Yeah, he yeah. wasn't asking, who are you? Who are you, little me, standing on this piece of dirt, standing there with three people got buried to death in a, yeah. in a chaos of a village? Who are you? Obviously, I don't have the resources to to even touch that craziness. Not as a founder of Iris, not as a not as a 
chairman of the board, not as a leader of Comunia Nocleita, partner in heart, not as any of that, not as a daughter of the Lord, not as a wife, not as a mother. It was too big for me. He was asking me this plural question, yeah. who are you? Yes. And then when I started to stand, he was asking us as believers, who are you? David, who are you? Heidi, who are you? It's not an individual question, although it is. It has to start, yes. With, yeah, but it seems you, to take yeah. the yeah, but it seems to take the eyes off of just you, right? You kind of slip off to the sideline, merge into this biggerness of the body of Christ, and you plural become something completely different than this myopic vision of yourself, right? Yes, the body of Christ, the beautiful yeah. body of the believer. Who are you? And then it was like we are the we are the responders and and this crisis I heard nine one one nine one one nine one one who are you we are the oily ones we are the lovers of Jesus we are the ones with provision we are the ones with the solution we are the ones with knowledge and wisdom from the heart of the King we are the hands of Jesus we are the feet on the ground. We are the solution from the Father. We are the hands of Jesus in this dying, shaking world. We are the mouthpiece. We are the lovers. We are the first responders. And we are not afraid because I was no longer speaking about myself yeah. or about our movement in Mozambique. As big as it is, it's very small in the face of a total crisis. Yeah. And it was, who are you? Where are the feet on the ground? What language do you speak? I said, we speak all of them. <laughs> Why? Because every, yeah. we spoke every dialect as a corporate group. I, I gathered thousands of, of these leaders together immediately. We ran out and, and no, with no telephones, where we ran out there, people ran after the next one, all gathered at the airport. We said, how many people do you need? They said, what do you do? We do food. Of course we do food. We're the body of Christ. Do you do water? Yes, of course we do water. We're the body of Christ. We're the feet on the ground. Do you do counseling? Yes, of course we do counseling. Do you build houses? Of course we build houses. Um, we had immediately, we started to, to enable the body of Christ to be connected in a way. Yeah. People responding, those people who had resources started sending them. Containers were put on the ocean with food. Um, the Lord called me to give funds to these Israelis uh, because he said they'd multiply the funds, and the funds came from the most desperately poor widows in, in my province, gave this official offering and it was like twelve dollars i gave it to the israelis i said you'll multiply it they're like who are you i said we're we're the feet on the ground we love is we love you and they started crying wow. and i said we'll, we'll take care of you i started chasing the brazilian bomberos these these firefighters down the runway of the airport i said welcome welcome and they said who are you? And I said, we're the feet on the ground and we have a place for you. They said, nobody ever yet. The Israelis, no one had greeted them. But we as the body of believers, the body of the lovers of Jesus, all denominations, all different groups, we came in and we started working together. And, and the harvest went out. And this is yeah. my last. What happened from there was, we were able to do massive um, amount of relief or massive amount of of gospel going out of sharing sharing this the solar audio Bibles and leading people, not just me doing a big meeting. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It was meetings. All the stadiums there and the churches, all their roofs were blown off. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna go in and try to do a big meeting? That's insanity. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right you guys want to try to do a big meeting? You know, good luck with that. Yeah. It's like, this is not what time we're living in. It's all hands on deck. Yes. 911. 
eyes on Jesus, all hands on deck, not 911. And then it's Psalm 91 1. Come on, Sharabakaya. Yes. Psalm 9 1. This is really what the Lord's saying. This is it. When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. Come on. When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. Wow, you powerful. are Shaddai. You, come on. When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of Most High. He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. The only God for me and my great confidence. Wow. That's This is it. The next the next cyclone came. Who are you? We already knew the answer. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.